it's Monday morning and we've got a beautiful rainbow. I hope everyone's had a lovely weekend. Look how beautiful. Full rainbow there. Just above Niki Nu and Anya's head. So that's Nika on the left and Anya on the right. They've had a night in because Nika's still resting to try and bring down the rest of that, that swelling that she's got in her joint. But she's going to have some physio this morning. So Jenny's here this morning doing some physio on just three of them today. So Nika's going to get, get a session with her as well as Yolanda and Mabel. So our three, three ones with a, a few few issues. I'd love to get them all done but this time of year we have to we have to think about the fact we're going into winter obviously costs are rising so we'll just go for the essential ones for now they're not all doing quite as much work now and they won't do quite as much through the winter and they're all in really good really good shape anyway so it's, it's more the fact that Nika gets very stiff. Mabel's obviously had her problems through the year. And Yolanda, as you know, she has a, a wonky shoulder that needs just a little bit of assistance every now and again. They're sharing very nicely. Now, I hope you've all got your, your power hour planned for the day. Everyone, because it's World Mental Health Day, everyone needs to take an hour to themselves to do something they enjoy, where they can just focus on themselves for the day. I've actually taken it a little bit quiet this morning. Enjoyed my coffee with the two girls, enjoying this rainbow. I'd probably best get on with some mucking out now. So I'll leave you with the view, not of Anya doing droppings over there and trumping, but of Niki News and the beautiful full rainbow there. Here's everyone else this morning. Interestingly, Hidda's first down, which isn't always the case. Does that mean you want to come in, Hidda? Eh? Does that mean you want to come in? I think it's that time of year where I need to move you out of this field. I think you're going to have to start going into your autumn winter turnout. Here come all the others. So we've got Wren there on the left. Followed by Yodel and the wonky legs. There's Micah. And at the back purple, on the right is Zhao, Dowson on the left, and <laughs> they're coming up at the back is little Mabel. Were you all expecting me to bring food? Not at this time of day. Are you telling me that there's not enough grass in this field? I think you might be. It is looking a little sparse now. Hello, Wren. Wren, you can have a nice day off today. You look my gorgeous girl. I think today what I might do is move them down into what we call the long field, which is down there in the distance. They can move into there. They're not fans of that field, to be honest, because I think they can't see the house from there. Ooh, they can hear voices up at the house. That's why they're all looking. Doubts and doing that beautiful stare. Some of you will have seen the picture of her that I've put on the main Facebook page. They're all so beautiful. When they stop and look at things, you can't beat that Frisian, Frisian stance. Posing, don't you? This is why I have so many photos and videos on my phone because they stand and pose like this and you can't help 
but take pictures. Mike is not quite so impressed. And he has just gone back to eating. If, if we get them moved today and they go through into that field, there's quite a lot of grass in there, but they, so they might just put their heads down and eat, but they might have a good run round. So we'll bring you some video of that if we move them today, because that's always a lovely sight. I always worry very slightly when there's one lying down absolutely flat out and Bear was completely crashed out down there. So I gave him a shout and he sat up, which is always good. He's going to have a roll now. No, he's not. And then I glanced over to the field over here and you can see, just see, sorry, it's not very good quality video. All the girls have gone to bed as well. Well, there's someone still up, but they look like they're just about to go down. So that's Hidder in the red. Not sure who that is going down now. Yeah, they've all gone to bed. Bless them. Yolanda's up in the friendship barn with Jenny, having her session. And I'm going to go down the road and disturb these guys and bring Mabel in because she's going to have a session next. But they're all clearly enjoying the morning sun because it is very, very beautiful today. Sun's there somewhere. It's too high in the sky. There you go. There it is. Beautiful. I was actually wrong. It wasn't Hidder in bed. So Hidder's down the front here. It was actually oh Peppa Pig, Mabel. She's actually got up now. She must have known that I'm coming to get her and she's going to be having some lovely physio treatment with Jenny. For those that don't know, we stopped Mabel being ridden because it really wasn't suiting her for the shape that she is and her build. She wasn't really enjoying it. She strained something in her shoulder earlier this year and had some time off. So now we let her do what she enjoys. She enjoys her driving. She enjoys her eating as well, obviously. That's Mike about to get up. Oh, Mikey, you're having a big stretch. That's Rinska having a roll. I don't want to get you out of bed, girlies. You can stay down. Mabel's doing one of her other favourite things, yawning. It suits her much better. Doing the driving. So she does some driving with some of our visitors. It keeps her fit and it keeps her, keeps her strong. And then she does some lunging just to keep her loose and as supple as as she can be. Good girl. Yeah. So as I said, we've got Jenny here today. There we go. Jenny Parker, physio, who's been looking after our horses for many years. So as I mentioned earlier, Mabel's had her issues this year. So the first thing Jenny does is watch her walk up and down and then have a bit of a trot up and down so that she can see how she's moving. She wants an itch as well. <laughs> Good. Can do more? She's been uh, just driving and then lunging in between on the hoe. So she's... You, when she was driving before so obviously she had that problem with her shoulder and then when she was driving she 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 twists her quarters to the left but she doesn't do it as dramatically as she was doing it now oh. and and then Jodie obviously you lunge her more so yeah so generally on the left rein mm. she, she will kind of ease her and Yeah, 
she was. Right, okay. Just a little bit down on this right hand, but we are getting there. She's engaging better behind. So that would was. tie in with her twisting off that to the left. That would tie in with her twisting to the left. Um, but no, she's, she's lifting up better through her back. Her mobility through her back is much better than it was. Good. So do you think that's because we don't ride her anymore? Possibly. Yeah. <laughs> suits her much better possibly it's just that she just goes the way that she's happy to go and the lunging keeps her flexible yeah other things going on today really important to do is keep on top of manes and tails and hair and make sure that their skin is good and I'll, i'm going to let jody tell you what she found with micah today yeah so it seems that in here she's just got a load of dry skin and it was in her tail as well. So what I've done is just washed it all out with some shampoo. Tried to get as much out as possible and then just try and moisturise it. So maybe put a bit of coconut oil in there. But I think in the tail it is looking better. Because to start with it was really dry. So that's just some coconut oil in there. Yeah, because Micah gets, she's always got really itchy at different times of the yeah, year. But it is looking cleaner. So it's yeah, just stopping her itching and scratching herself and being uncomfortable because there must yeah. be nothing more frustrating than having really dry skin oh definitely and especially when they're changing their coats as well because they're getting itchy because coats coming out new new hairs growing so it's about just keeping them comfortable and happy and it does involve a lot of cleaning the manes the tails on a regular basis the feathers as you know we keep a lot of them clipped out micah's aren't done at the moment but she'll be having them done at some point. So Jodie's just rubbing some coconut oil in, which will moisturise mm. her skin. And even though she'll look greasy, but it'll just do her skin good, won't it, really? It's, oh, it will. This time of year, it's just keeping on top of everything else. So Mabel's coming to the Friendship Barn with Jenny under the nice solarium. And I'm going to let Jenny just explain a little bit about what she's found with Mabel. So Mabel, last time I came, was very tight through her left shoulder and generally pretty tight through her back. We've changed her working routine and today she can now lift up very nicely through her back. So there's a big lift, so her spinal flexibility is much, much better, um, which is what we want. So she's finding it easy now when she's in a carriage which is great. And then her work on the lunge is also improving. So we seem to have found the key to Mabel at the moment. So I'm just loosening through the left shoulder again, because that's where she's just always a little bit tight and just a little bit through her back. But other than that, we're doing pretty well. Uh, it's, it's really good news for us because, you know, we did take a gamble. We just thought that the riding really wasn't suiting her. So we, we took her out, out of any ridden work and just put her on the driving and the lunging and it's it's always really nice when Jenny comes along and says that we must be doing the right thing because she's seeing some improvement. So Mabel's going to be in here for a bit enjoying some lovely treatment with Jenny. Enjoying a nice relaxed environment and the heat. <laughs> Absolutely it makes all the difference doesn't it? Right we'll leave you to it. Here's a bit of Downson. Just doing some stretch work on the lunge. I like to do this with her every now and again because she does a lot of collected work in her schooling. So it's nice to just get her stretching down, and really stretching through her back once a week or so. Just to take the pressure off a little bit and stretch those muscles. There's the old boy Hoitzer again. Paul's obviously given him a clean up. He's a little excited there because he's going to see the girls. Oh, he's going in with Nika Thanks. Thanks. and Anya. Was he not happy with JB? Well, you're taking JB out. Oh, I am taking JB out, aren't I? So I'm about to take Anya out with JB. So Holly's putting Hoitzer in with the two girls for now. So he hasn't seen his girls for a little while, so it's nice for him to have a bit of time with them. So there he is with Nika. Nika's had her physio session this morning. So hopefully nice and chilled and relaxed. She's 
she's very happy now she's got a hoitzer and Anya's not going to be so happy if she has to do a bit of work. Nika, don't come out because I let you out earlier. I'll go and assist with the gate rather than videoing, I think. While Jodie and Holly are working a couple of the other horses and doing a bit more cleaning of manes and tails, I'm bringing Anya out along with little JB for a bit of exercise. I'm not just doing this for fun, although it's lovely to do. There is a method in my madness. There is a reason why I'm doing this. So JB is going into stable stays tomorrow. So it's not just a case of us chucking a horse in the, in the stable for the night. There's, there's a lot of preparation that goes on beforehand with the way they're presented, the way they're worked. And we know with JB from experience that he's better and he's more relaxed if he's done a little bit of exercise before he goes into stable stays. So although he's turned out in the field, mostly with Hoitzer over here, and you know, he gets to exercise a fair bit himself just in the field, it's really important for us to make sure that he's in the right frame of mind when he goes there, goes in there. And often if he's, he's done a bit of work and he's had a change of scenery, He's just in a better place in his own mind to to be in other people's company and give them a really good time. We've got a young girl coming in tomorrow. It's her eighth birthday. She's been diagnosed as autistic and we know that we've had a number of autistic visitors over the years who very often just respond so well to any animal and particularly the horses and little JB. So we want to, him to be in the best frame of mind that he can be for when she comes along. So it's nice for him to come out next to one of the horses. He'll have a good trot around the roads. And he thoroughly enjoys it. It's, it's like us as well. It's good to have that change of scenery. And sometimes if they're just in the field every day, seeing the same thing, doing the same thing, some of the horses like just to be doing the same thing and having the same things to look at every day but a lot of them you know they're very active in their mind and they they like that that stimulation so we know with a lot of them they need to get out and just do something different at different times we had it with with Rentsker over the weekend at this time of year she gets a little bit down so we headed her off to the beach and, and it really cheered her up just having that trip out and that change of scenery. These are the Holker Woods through what we call Seven Acres down in Cartmel Village. It's a really, really pretty little route takes you back out to the other side of the village. We often do our carriage drives through here. And I don't know that JB's ever been through here before. He seems to be enjoying himself, which is the main thing. Anya was desperate to do one of her favourite things, splashing in the back, which she did with poor JB in there, got him absolutely soaked. So he's hiding on the, on the verge at the moment. Well, Annie has a happy splash. So just come out from our splash in the back and met Jodie with ice. She's just bringing him out for a change of scenery as well. And he's been really good coming past. We've got diggers, chainsaws, all sorts of things going on in the car park. But we always take the view that if we're nice and relaxed with it, then the horses will be nice and relaxed with it. And people often say to us, well, the horses are so calm, but a lot of it does come from the fact that we just stay calm with them no matter what's going on. We've just had a, a group of kids from Manchester having trip out to the country who 
all just come streaming past us, but the horses were all very happy just to stand here and look. You see, she's not phased at all. Thank you. It very kindly slowed the engine down, but I often say to people, don't worry about stopping with these things because they all have to get used to it. So even there with the change in the engine sound, Annie wasn't phased at all, nor was JB. Back home safe and sound. No, Little hacking buddies. Annie's had her wash down and she's come to join. Yolanda and Mabel in our round pen. Yolanda did a bit of lunging this morning before having her physio treatment with Jenny. She just said that right shoulder that she has the problem with, she was a bit stiff in there, which she always is. So she's just loosened her off a bit through that shoulder. And she said this time she was a bit tight in her hamstrings. Definitely more muscle behind. some other stretching work with her just to help her keep loosening those hamstrings and Mabel you saw earlier she's such a pretty girl they're enjoying a little bit of afternoon sun with their rugs off before they head back out to the field tonight it's so much better for them we're so lucky here that we've got the land that they can spend a lot of their time out it's far more natural for them and we rotate them as to who comes in for the night. As lovely as it would be to have a great big barn and have them all in, it's actually much healthier for them to be out and moving around as much as possible. Are you tired, Yodel? Oh, it's a tough life, isn't it? It's a tough life. That's the first three. Micah, Yolanda, and Mabel. There's a lot of long grass in here but it's a time of year where there's not going to be as much in it so they will get fat bellies. As it's towards the end of the year there'll be a huge amount in the grass. It's all old meadow grass. And then in our barn field here we've got the other guys desperately waiting to come through. So Jaukia in the front, Doutson, Hida, and Renska. So we're going to open up the gate and let them through as well. So this is the first of their winter turnout fields. We call this the long field. It drains quite well. through that gate into what we call the 14 acre field which is the main winter field again it drains very well but hopefully there's enough grass there that will keep them going without having to be supplemented with with haylage probably just into the new year maybe around christmas but we'll see going to move the mucky boys because although they've got this lovely green field in front of the house there is one part that gets really really boggy and I probably don't need to ask you to guess who this is who likes to go in the muddiest part to see whether he can rip shoes off which he's a big fan of doing and of course it's the very glamorous mud monster Hannes going to take him up he can have his legs washed down and cleaned first then him cuddly teddy bear and ice are going to go in what's called muddy pool which it does get very muddy and it is quite wet but I think there's 
there's less chance of them pulling shoes off in there at the moment than there is in here because they keep going in a really, really grubby bit, don't you, Hannes? As I said in my video the other day, it's always musical horses at this time of year. But it's nice that we've got the land. We can rotate them through fields and rest other fields when they need resting.